That's a lot colder than it looks. All right, so basically what I'm gonna be doing today is snorkeling around this place for turtles. So I got my snorkel, I've got an underwater light that I'm gonna bring with me as well. Basically what this allows me to do is look in and under logs where snapping turtles hang out. South Mississippi is home to tons of different turtle species, and it's got these beautiful river systems that I love to snorkel, specifically looking for snapping turtles. I actually have come here a lot looking for alligator snapping turtles, but today I'm pretty much looking for anything that I can find. Whoa, gee, that was a huge catfish. Jesus. While this environment doesn't have an incredibly large amount of life, what lives here is really special and oftentimes can be rare really one of my favorite habitats to explore, even though there's not an incredible amount of turtle life. Tell you what, this water is cold today. Normally it's not this cold in the summer months. I got my light with me. This is a pretty terrible underwater light, but it's the only one I got right now. If you have a look at this, this is a big magnolia tree. Now what's interesting about this is the roots of the magnolia tree have kind of gone back into the bank, and this is perfect for snapping turtle dens. Now, what alligator snapping turtles will do, they'll burrow back there and they'll have a big nest and you'll just see a huge burrow right there. Now, the hard thing about this is, is when the water's dirty like this, you have to snorkel down to go and see them. Uh, but this is one of the best ways to find snapping turtles. It's one of my favorite ways, actually. And you'll also see big catfish doing this. So you can also see a snake or a couple of other things back in the roots. Looking for snapping turtles like this is a very long process because there's so much habitat to search with so few turtles. You can spend hours and even days looking along these rivers and find very, very little life. However, when you do find something special, that just makes it even more incredible. That's a turtle. Hey, Jack. What are you doing? I got a turtle. I got a turtle. Here we go. Snapping turtle. Here we go. All right. Check this little guy out. Ah. He was sitting right under that log. This is a baby common. Oh, look at that little guy. This is a baby common snapping turtle. I've actually never found a common snapping turtle in any of these rivers before. He is so cute. Look at how little he is. Now snapping turtles, as many of you guys know, there's actually two species of snapping turtles that live in these rivers, the common and the alligator. Now I am more or less looking for an alligator snapping turtle by doing this, but you can occasionally find commons. This is only a little guy, probably less than a year old, and look at how little his shell is. Look at that long neck. Snapping turtles are one of my favorite things to find out here, but uh, I have never found a common snapping turtle here, so that is really cool. He's a little tiny baby one. These guys get big. That's what snapping turtles are most famous for, is their bite and how big they get. Common snapping turtles can reach upwards of 40 pounds in this area. However, some of the record-breaking ones have gotten up to 80 pounds, which is a seriously massive turtle. This guy, only a little guy, he wouldn't even be a pound. He's little. Now one thing you'll notice about baby snapping turtles is they're not going to snap at you and they're not going to bite at you like the adults. Notice how he's kind of relaxed. He's just going to try to keep clawing away. And basically, the reason for that is because they don't have a really strong bite. Oh, maybe he will bite. <laughs> that was so cute. Well, I guess I'm wrong. Look at him. He's trying to bite me. Normally they're a lot more docile than this. But he's like, ah, I'm gonna get you. But of course, he's only a little baby and it wouldn't hurt. However, when these guys get big, their bite is really tough and I would hate to get bit by a big one. He is so cute. He's got a really dark colored shell. Uh, I'd have to guess that this little guy is kind of living up in some of the bayous back here. He just kind of hopped onto this little uh, river system just as a little getaway, just to move around a bit and maybe hunt a bit. Probably walked over some land to get to this, but he's really, really cute. I ne almost never find them this small, so it's really cool to see little tiny ones. Now, a way you can tell that this isn't an alligator snapping turtle, and as babies, it can be a little bit difficult to tell sometimes, but the spikes on the alligator snapping turtle shell are much bigger. The tail 
Looks a little bit different on commons as well, but the face is the big thing. They've kind of got a little shorter, rounder face, the commons, and then the alligator snapping turtles had kind of have this square or triangle shaped head that kind of meets at a point, and they've got a huge beak, and the common snapping turtles just don't have that. He is a little dinosaur. Look at him. This guy is just a little dinosaur, absolutely. He looks fat. As you can see, he's nice and fat and healthy. They'll be eating little fish, crustaceans, anything that they can get along here. Snapping turtles are normally pretty opportunistic. They'll eat pretty much anything they can get a hold of, whether it be clams, other turtles, crustaceans, fish, bugs. They'll even grab small animals, mammals, and birds when they land in the water. And in fact, some of the larger snapping turtles in these rivers are actually known to eat water snakes, which is really interesting. And look at how long that neck is. This is something important to snapping turtles in this river because they have to be able to slowly stick their head up, get some air, and go back down. And under here, there's like this little ledge and he was kind of clinging to the side of the log. And that's what snapping turtles will do in these rivers. They'll cling to the side of a log and just kind of stick their head up, get some air, and come right back down and you won't even see them. I've actually never seen a snapping turtle do that before, but that's the, how they keep from being spotted out here. Look at him, he's got a little dinosaur neck. He's so cute. Oh, look at his mouth. Look at his mouth. Ah. This is the little noise he makes. They make a little noise when they're a little baby because when they do that they have kind of gulp air at the same time and they make a little cute noise. Isn't that right, little buggy? Isn't that right? Well that is a very cute little turtle to be finding out here. Hopefully we'll see some bigger ones here in the in the near future but uh, for now we're just gonna go ahead and let this little guy go and uh, we'll let him on his way. Alright, see a little baby dragon? I'm gonna put him right up in here to where you can see him take off in all the silver debris. That is beautiful. Go go. Go get big. Go on. Come here. Over there. There you go. Now you got it. Hey, oh, so I forgot to record an outro for this video, but we really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, consider subscribing and liking for more content, and we will see you guys next time.